This is my 1975 East German variant telephone in this neat salmon, reddish salmon color, or you can say coral, more of a coral color. But um, it is from the RFT, which is um, the abbreviation for the uh, Rundfunk und Fernmelde Technik which is uh, not a manufacturer, but according to Wikipedia, it says uh, a consortium of state-owned companies, um, which are VEBs, which is German for uh, Volkszeigener Betrieb. Betrieb. These particular phones were uh, made for the VEB Fernmeldewerk Nordhausen, um, which is one of the 14 uh, state-owned companies. And that is basically uh, shown on the bottom here. As you can see on the far left, and then you have the variant type. This is the type N045 quadruple zero three. And the year uh, the make is February of 1975 and made in the German Democratic Republic. I got this phone back in 2018. And it actually did come directly from Germany. I had to inquire whether they would ship out of Germany because they didn't offer worldwide shipping. And I was lucky to get one, especially in this color. I actually never did a first um, look video. I, w I went straight ahead and uh, did a restoration on it. But it's in magnificent condition. It was well taken care of. N just some light scratches, no cracks in the plastic, which is nice. And it's very angular looking and very flat. Show you the, these different angles on all that. It's very shiny. I did a good, um, I think I did a really good job on polishing it. It wasn't too bad when I first got it. It just had a lot of... It, it was dirty, especially in the dial. And um, interestingly, the dial was completely seized when I first received it. I guess from the years of not being used or the years of excessively being used, it dried out the oil. But it's spinning perfectly fine now after I gave it a complete overhaul. As you can see on the center of the dial, it says RFT. You have the uh, different uh, emergency numbers there. And we have a little window for the number card. Just look at the handset. And it has a neutral gray cord. Same thing with the line cord. As you can see, I installed an RJ11 port. Plug it in easily. This phone came in a quite a range of colors. Um, I know the basic color was the gray. I do have another one of these that's from, I think, Estonia or Lithuania. But um, it has its original paperwork that was uh, folded inside of the phone and it had everything in I can't remember I don't remember what language it was but I knew it was like a, some type of um, like it was like the Russian language I think it was Lithuania so it was used specifically there it had its um, inspection sheet and everything even the wiring diagram was I believe it was Lithuanian um, I'll have to check back with that. But it did have, uh, the basic color was like a, a solid gray, you know, everything was gray, and then you had one that, uh, the, the one I have is, it had a gray handset and a white um, housing to it on the, the base of it. And I think that was an earlier model too. I think it was like 1972 or 1971, I can't remember. This is 1975. Some of these phones didn't have this, uh, I believe you call it the earthing button. With that. This phone actually has a double clapper ringer, so it has a clapper for each bell. It's a, a double gong ringer. 
You've got your basic wiring diagram that's a PC board. You've got your uh, switch hook, hook switch, and then of course you have your dial. So, uh, as I said, the, the range of colors, it had like a green, they had a, a mustard color, they actually had a red, and I know the, I, I don't know if it was the later model of this, um, one, this, this particular variant that was made in, later on, the, the red color, they had one that had the, the white dial on it, and they also had ones that um, also had the dial with the black face on it, and of course this one has the uh, white dial. But anyway, that's a look at this phone. Um, I'll, I'll do another turnaround of it. And I'll show you the bottom of it again, too. But it's a really nice um, part for, the, for, this, for my collection. Um, here's what the dial sounds like. And one thing about these dials, these these Eastern German dials, is that they used them in the um, phones uh, the in Hungary, and um, a lot of their their phones from the 70s and 80s used these dials, and then they switched over to the Fache standard dials. So here's the bottom. That screw right there will release the housing. So you can take it off, and there's a clip on this side that um, secures it from the front. There's the ringer adjuster, and the two bells are behind those uh, vents there. And of course there's the bottom label. Feet are in good shape, they haven't melted. There's a little bit of wear and tear on them. And nothing's caused the plastic to melt or bond. So I hope you enjoyed a, a look at this phone. Um, I wanted to give you a little history of the um, RFT and its um, 14 different companies. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, neat telephone from Eastern Germany from 1975, the variant from the RFT. And thanks for watching. And now it's time for the dial test and the ringer test portion of this video. So I have my uh, BK Precision telephone analyzer. So first I will test the dial out to show that it's working as I do not have a landline. Whoops, it, it became unplugged because this plug's broken. There we go. Dial tone, if you can hear it. So I'm just going to dial some numbers. And we'll end at number seven. So there's that. Let's go ahead and test the transmission. So you see a voice level dial. Transmitter is working perfectly fine. And now we will do the ringer test. Alright, that completes that. Thanks for watching.